You can also synthetically create new issues. Uh, in this case, the original video on the left side, uh, that vehicle was just uh, going forward uh, on, on its own lane. But then on the right side, we can make the condition the vehicle to cut across our path uh, and then inject uh, this kind of adversarial event to test the system's corner cases. And you can see that the scene and the rest of the scene remains consistent. All the other vehicles are moving the same way. It's just that this one vehicle cuts across. Uh, and that, that's how you can make lots of synthetic uh, data sets to verify the corner case performance uh, of a self-driving system. If you uh, are fine with reducing the test time compute a little bit, uh, you can get uh, close to real-time rendering performance. This is the same model that's rendering the eight cameras uh, with uh, lowered test time uh, compute. And you can see that you can actually drive this uh, in real-time. The FPS is high enough, uh, even though it's generating um, eight five megapixel streams uh, in, in, in parallel. So obviously you can see that the, it's responding to the uh, user's uh, driving commands. They can like steer uh, and brake and then sort of like navigate the world just as if they're driving in the real world. But the entire thing is neural network generated video streams. I think the driver is trying to do something adversarial by you know, going on the curb and then just demonstrating that the generalization of the simulator is quite good. Yeah, this entire video is six minutes long and you can just have consistent video generation for a very long time uh, and responding to control commands. You can hence imagine like how this tool can be quite powerful, both for evaluation purposes, but also for closed loop uh, reinforcement learning, where the, you can just let the car drive and then verify that it doesn't collide with anything for a very long time. So you can see that th this can uh, update to um, scenes quite rapidly. Um, if you use the same traditional splatting, a lot of novel views might look blurry or like fuzzed out. But as I'm rotating here in 3D space, a lot of the structure remains intact. And such interpretable representations uh, can be used to debug the system. You know, like if it's going faster or slower, you can easily observe, okay, is it um, safely avoiding some obstacle or not? And you can see that you can actually drive this uh, in real time. The FPS is high enough, uh, even though it's generating um, eight five megapixel streams uh, in, in, in parallel. So obviously you can see that the, it's responding to the uh, user's uh, driving commands. They can like steer uh, and brake and then sort of like navigate the world just as if they're driving in the real world. But the entire thing is neural network generated video streams. I think the driver is trying to do something adversarial by you know, going on the curb and then just demonstrating that the generalization of the simulator is quite good. Yeah, this entire video is six minutes long and you can just have consistent video generation for a very long time uh, and responding to control commands. You can hence imagine like how this tool can be quite powerful, both for evaluation purposes, but also for closed loop uh, reinforcement learning, where the, you can just let the car drive and then verify that it doesn't collide with anything for a very long time. 